Hi, my 30-year-old Macintosh SE has a dead hard drive. Finding today replacement SCSI hard drive is quite a challenge. I did my research and concluded that it would be more cost-effective to get a zip drive instead. On the other hand, a zip drive could help me convert any old floppies into CDs or DVDs. So I think it was the right choice. The zip drive is a medium to high capacity. At the time of its release, removable floppy disk storage system that was introduced by iOmega in late 1994. Originally, zip disks launched with capacities of 100 megabytes, but later versions increased this to first 250 megabytes and then 750 megabytes. The format became the most popular of the super floppy products which filled a niche in the late 1990s portable storage market. However, it was never popular enough to replace the 3.5-inch floppy disk. Later versions of the disk matched the capacity available on rewritable CDs but this was far surpassed by the later rewritable DVDs. USB flash drives ultimately proved to be the most popular rewritable storage medium among the general public due to the near ubiquity of USB ports on personal computers and soon after because of the far greater storage sizes offered. Zip drives fell out of favor for mass portable storage during the early 2000s. The Zip brand later covered internal and external CD writers known as Zip 650 or Zip CD, which had no relation to the Zip drive. I was lucky enough to find a new inbox Zip drive for Macintosh at a very reasonable price. Connecting the zip drive to the 30-year-old Macintosh SE was quite simple. All you have to remember is to set the SCSI ID switch on 5 and set the termination switch to on. Make sure to connect each end of the cable correctly. Simply have the one end labeled SCSI connected to the computer and the other end labeled zip on the zip drive. It's that simple. The tricky part was to create a bootable floppy with System 6, 0, 8 and include the zip drive extension 4.2 in the system folder. You can easily create such a floppy if you have access to another computer with a floppy drive.
confident that soon I will find a way to use the zip drive as a boot disk. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac OS High Sierra. Enjoy! Addicted to Macintosh, YouTube channel, hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.